I'm going to take you through the individual statement screen for Cherry Garden. So to access it, you need to be on the browser version of Tapestry. You need to click on tracking, make sure you've got Cherry Garden selected and then go to statements, individual view. This is probably something you're going to want to go and visit fairly frequently, at least once a term. Um, it will allow you to see what your evidence is showing um, and then allow you to work out whether that lines up with what you actually know about the child. So once you've got here, you can see that the year and period will automatically be chosen for you um, and that will be just where you are at the moment. But you can go back and change that to an earlier one if you want to. Um, and you'll need to select the child and the area. That will open up the rest of your branch map. So if we scroll down and have a look here, you'll be able to see that all of the branches are along the top and the body of it is filled with the statements. So these are colour coded based on the strand. So yellow ones are language and communication, green are attention and understanding, blue are reading and pink are writing. You'll be able to find those if you just scroll down. You'll also be able to see that, or hopefully we'll be able to see that there are some orange bars along the top and those are indicating that assessments have already been made. Um, they'll each have a letter in them as well, um, and that shows the refinement that has been assessed for that um, statement. For me, I've got my refinement set up as emerging, developing and secure, but yours might be a little bit different. It just depends on how you've decided to set it up. Um, you might also be able to see that you've got three different types of orange bars. You've got one with a pencil in, one plain one, and one with a little black arrow in. So those actually just show different ways of, of that um, assessment being made. If it's got a pencil by it, that means that it's been overridden, um, and that's overridden in this term. So for this one, it means that I or someone else in my team um, have gone in and, and chosen that score on this branch map. Um, they would have done that just by clicking on this tick um, and choosing the refinement. Um, if I don't like that, that's absolutely fine. I can just X to get rid of it um, and I can click on the tick again to choose a, a new one if I want to. The next one is where it's just a completely plain orange uh, rectangle. And if you click on that, you'll see that that is based on observations that have been made. So it's the refinements um, for that statement from these three observations that have been averaged out to give that refinement. Um, and again, if you don't agree with it, um, if it's not what you actually know about the child, uh, then you can use the tick to change that and override it. The third one with this black arrow is indicating that the score has been taken from a different period. So maybe baseline or maybe just one before, uh, you've made an assessment at some point anyway in this statement. Um, and that has then carried through. So it might not be really recently, but it is the most up-to-date data that you have. The other thing to know about this page is that you can create an observation from here. So if you want to override any of these scores, but you don't just want to override it without collecting any evidence or without adding any evidence, all you need to do is click on the plus button. And what you'll see is an observation form appear. So just as you would with a normal observation, give it a title, write any notes that are appropriate, um, and then you can save it. The branch and the statement will have been selected automatically, but you can add any others if they're appropriate as well. Then pre just press save. Um, and that will appear as part of an observation. So that's all there really is to it. Um, once you're, if, if you're coming to the end of your term and you're completely happy with everything in this branch map and you don't want any observations that you're making from this point to affect it, what you might want to do is lock it. Um, I should say though that this will apply to all of your areas um, for this term, um, so don't do it if you're still making assessments for one of these other areas. And you can also export this to either a CSV or PDF if you'd like an offline version.